All right, let's let's get to your Purdue team a little bit here and, and just kind of putting a wrap on the season and, and what Paint did and what Zach Eady did. And obviously they came up short, but you know, I said it. I I feel like with getting to the final four, uh you were playing with a little bit of house money when you played UConn because nobody expected him to win. Uh, Paint gets to the he gets the monkey off his back, which he needed. He needed Rob because if they had another first weekend exit, the 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 skeptics were going to be out. They were going to be out. Well, they of were hate. already out. Like right. Tommy Lloyd is going through it now. I'm sure, right? Like that just that becomes the nature of the beast. And not that Tommy Lloyd's a bad, he's a good coach. Yep. Yep. You know, like they. I just I think that we are a little too quick sometimes to talk about like oh well he can't win the big game because all the, a lot of the coaches that we now look at as some of the legends or icons had some real issues in the tournament, you know, like, and it, it hits everybody now three in a row to double digit seeds. I, I get the disappointment. I understand, you know, that's not supposed to be what happens when you get a one, two or a three seed. Um, but yeah, for him, um, I just an unbelievable run. They, they had an unbelievable season. Unbelievable. Um, I, a unbelievable. lot of teams would have the FDU thing happen and it, it could break them. Like it could break a team where you're like, man, I I just, whether you don't stay together or you just, you're not able to handle the pressure. They, they've they been under pressure for March since like the day after that FDU game. Sure. And every game that they've won and been impressive in doing it. And they played an, an insane non-conference schedule that, yep. that really probably prepared them and helped them get to where they got. But even after every win, all you'd hear is, well, they won't they won't win in March. They, they'll lose in the first round. Can't wait to – I don't know how many things I saw on Twitter when we would tweet about Purdue about, well, wait till March. They'll definitely lose in the first round. And it's like that's where you want to go back and just, you know, hammer everyone on Twitter that says that to you because I thought it was a different team all year long. I thought their mentality, their mindset, they were so locked in. And I you saw it at times during the final uh, – in the NCAA tournament – they weren't even like celebrating At winning all. outside of the elite eight win. Right. They really didn't. Even when they beat NC state in the final four, everyone I talked to that went in the locker was like, no, it was really muted. Yeah. It was really focused. They were yeah. just, they're looking ahead to the next game. Um, they, they didn't celebrate the first weekend. They didn't celebrate the Gonzaga game. And it's like, man, I hope they're able to enjoy this, but I also respect it. I get where they've come from, you know, and, and, and what a year that those, those young guards had of Braden Smith, Fletcher lawyer, um, I know Fletcher didn't have the game that he probably hoped for in the national title game, but can I, with can that I ask being you said, about that while we're there? Can I ask you about that part yeah. of, of the game and your thoughts of paint kept going to the well, which he had done all year for the most part with Edie. Uh, a lot of teams had a double and then he would kick out to the, to the open shooters. Well, there weren't open shooters obviously on Monday night because they didn't have to double. Um, right. My question to you, would you have when they're not when they're not doubling, Rob, I think those shooters were just standing around mm -hmm. instead of cutting the basket, trying to get easy baskets that way or getting some movement. And I know they didn't play that way for much of the year, but like could Payne have done something different? Like if you're looking at it objectively, and I'm sure he is now, I'm sure he's going through it. I'm like, what could I have done differently? Because they made one three all game. This is a team that was they second took, they took in the seven. country. They took seven of them. Right. Their volume. And you know what? We thought Alabama was going to take 50. They took yeah. 23 or 24. So, like, they obviously UConn, outside of the scheme, had people that were able to limit. I just, I just think when you look at UConn's guards, you know, they're going to be able to manhandle. And I think this is where the next step for Fletcher Lawyer is. All right, you gotta get you gotta get in the weight room yes. and you've gotta you gotta try to put on 15 or 20 pounds. He looked like a boy out there. He honestly yeah. looked like a boy. But the thing about him. him is he he's he's not scared nope. and he nope. he can he makes big shots. I think the next thing for him has got to be all right, I've I've got to kind of change my body here so that I can handle and, and for some people that's a lot harder to do. Um, you know, I think about Jawan Johnson back in the day where man, that dude was benching like 300 pounds and he's power cleaning a ton of weight. Yeah. He'd eat like crazy and gain no weight. Like it, yeah. it's just some some guys have a hard time, but whether that's changing your diet or whatever whatever he needs to do, that that's that's what he needs to do to take the next step. I 
I just don't you know, know what he should I, I do. Think guys like, Rob, he I should just guys... come down to Charleston with me for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think guys like Steph Castle, Cam Spencer, they're big, they're physical, um, they're old. Yep. You know, yep. I just, I'm sure there's things that that Matt Painter feels like. Well, I could have run this or run that, um, but I'm sure he also felt like with the single coverage, this this is what we've wanted all year long. I know, I but know. it became that that was it was all it was every time and no one else was really involved outside of the Braden Smith pick and roll stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think, you know, with Braden Smith and pick and roll, and, and again, I didn't get to watch the game like intently because we had guests on and we were yeah. doing a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. And you're, we were far away. We were up in the 200 level, um, <laughs> which is in, in those stadiums that you are far way back if you're, if you're in yes. the 200 level. Um, but yeah, I, I think that there's, you know, there's probably some things that he he would like to go back, as all coaches would say. You know, after a loss, what 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 else could I have done differently? Whether well, that's running some of the stuff to off off screens to get him open, or you know, they they needed Lance Jones and Fletcher to to play really well, yep. and they and did. even with like Braden Smith and the ball screen stuff with UConn's length, those skip passes are harder to throw. You know, like that that stuff is not easy. So, um, yeah, credit to UConn. I'm, I'm sure that they feel like maybe there's a few things they could have done otherwise, but UConn was just, they were just better. They were the better team. They were the best team clearly this year and, and they deserved it. Uh, but I thought again, paint probably uh, locked in uh, him getting in the hall of fame. I think by going to the final four in the championship game here. Uh, and I think it took, you know, it gave Purdue and the program a, a little more uh, respect by getting that far. Well, and how about the way that the fans showed up? Oh, they were awesome. Awesome. I mean, I, I mean, bet both, there was both fan bases were great. Yeah, great. yeah. And UConn was split. Yep. And they went last year. Like that. Yes. That's hard because going to the Final Four is not like an affordable thing, right? You know, like that, that's what's that's what's right. kind of sad. I think is that if if your team makes the Final Four, you're going to spend. I mean, hotels, yes. tickets were insane. Yep. I had a buddy that spent. He spent seventeen hundred on a ticket because wow. he wanted to sit in the lower bowl. Yep. You know, and that's that's what they were going for. 